Energy Efficient House Design by Montserrat Rico. Here are some pictures of the front of the house, the side, and the back of the house. Included are some pictures of the side and front and top of angles of the roof. Here are some pictures of the door. These are some pictures of the door being closed and opened. I used the clay strips around the border of the door to insulate it. And I also used it so the door would stay shut, closed, and so the air wouldn't escape. Here are some pictures of both of the windows. For the insulation, I also used the clay as a substitute for weather strip to make sure that the air wouldn't escape the house. I also used transparent paper in order to make the windows. These are some pictures of the inside of the house, which include the pictures of the walls, ceiling, and the floor. In order to insulate the inside of the house, I used bubble wrap, aluminum, and a poster board to cover the walls and the floor. And on the corners of the walls, I used foam strips. For the ceiling, I used a cutout piece of cardboard and sealed it inside at the top of the house. The initial temperature for the house was at 110 Celsius. And then when I added the eight ice cubes, it was at 90. The temperature change was 20 Celsius in all. My house is efficient because I used aluminum, bubble wrap, and cardboard on the walls and on the floor to insulate the house on the inside. I used the clay around the boards, borders of the edges to trap in the air and to seal it. Then I used the foam strips on the edges of the walls. This all made my house insulated to keep in the cool air inside to 90 Celsius as my final temperature.